escrever. Hey everyone, good morning. Hey everyone, good morning. David, I'm sorry, I'm slow in responding. I've been traveling this week, and so is Milan and Wani as well. So a lot of responses have been delayed. I was just looking at all the good work uh, you have been doing with Yi. I've updated the agenda with some things I see. Uh, when you're ready, we can jump into it. Shiwei, yeah. Shiwei is joining. That's amazing. Thank you, Shiwei. Uh, hi. <laughs> yeah, it's late there. Uh, yes, it's, it's 12 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why don't we Why don't we cover what you have on your mind first? Yes, stay there. Yeah, pardon? I see. I, I say. I would say. I say like. Uh, I, I see that he has done the release of an album for me. Just one. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I cannot hear you clearly. Uh, am, I, am I breaking up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. David. Yeah, yes. David, you're breaking up. But I think what David is saying, Shiva, is you. Do you want to go first because it's late your time? So if you have an agenda item to discuss with Milind and British present, we'll give you the floor first. Uh, yes. Uh, thanks. So um, I'm not sure Steve is joining or not. It's not. Uh, yeah. So I can try. Yeah. your audio is. Uh, we can't. It's it's garbled in between. Yeah, but hopefully, Shiva, you heard from David that Steve won't be joining. So if you're waiting on Steve to discuss something, he won't be joining. But if you need help from Pratish Milan, um, go for it. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, I just want to discuss three PRs and uh, uh, in the notary spec. Um, yeah. Uh, I think. Uh... So like, like Samir said, we, we have been traveling this week. Uh, I know that PRs related to the certificate chain, uh, moving yeah. that, the other related to the renames. I, I still need more time to give feedback there. Uh, yeah. If there's specific points, we can cover it. I wanted to... Okay, because it's late for you. Let's let's use the first thirty minutes or so. Uh, on Shiva, we can we can bring up specific points from those spec PRs and discuss that. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so uh, those three PRs are about the uh, plugins. Uh, the first one is the, uh, the algorithm name, uh, and uh, you may take a look. I will send the link in the in the chat window. Yes. Oh, I see. This one has been approved by uh, Queen and Steve. Uh, maybe you guys can uh, have a look. Yeah, I'm going through that right now. Um... The signing algorithm, the um... The hash and the key spec looks good. The signing algorithm, the PS and ES. Yes. They are uh, like, are, are those standardized names? I know that JWS uses that mapping. Uh, uh, also, Cozy also use that mapping. Yeah, but it's it's defined by some signature formats, right? Like, why would we not have more descriptive names? Like, yeah, but... Uh, but I think that's my own... are not, uh, I mean, they are not standard names and they may, uh, but 
if it's descriptive names, why does just just call it ice? For example, I say S S A dash P S S with SHA two fifty six. Yeah. Something. <laughs> okay. So. I, I I guess what I mean to say is that I don't want to make it signature uh, envelope format specific. The the P S E S is used by J W S. Uh, probably adopted by Cozy too, but maybe not yeah. used by PKCS seven. Maybe not used by anywhere else, right? So looking at these values, if you are not aware of JWS or Cozy, and in some of the plugin spec, you don't have to be aware of the or specifically yeah. this one, uh, you don't have to be aware. Uh, it's good to have still the descriptive names. We can still do RSA. ASSA dash PSS dash just the same convention that we did the rename for the other ones, right? Uh, that's my only feedback. The rest looks good. Yeah, but uh, because they are all defined by us, so we can define it as PS256, something like that. And it's just look the same as the uh, the ones that are defined by Cozy and JWS. Right, right. I, I agree. But uh, because this being a contract that plugin developers work with, you want yeah. to make it easy easy for them to understand too. And yeah, we have the mapping here. I would, I would just say that you, you still need this table, this translation. Again, my preference would be to keep the more verbose name. Um, anyone else has comments or not? <laughs> uh, just being a technical one, I haven't looked at it in detail. Uh, I think we heard Milan that maybe he just dropped off in the middle. Uh, he was speaking and then his voice got cut off. So generic question I have um, to you, Shiwei, are you planning on using the media type as like kind of a, a primary switch in terms of uh, how you how you change using which headers and whatnot you're going to be utilizing for Cozy, or is it a different or is it signing type or something else to that to uh, how you're currently coding it? Uh, it's a different topic, right? Yeah, it is a different topic. Yeah, we don't we don't have to cover that right now, but it is very much related to uh, the bigger picture here. Which we, we can uh, so, cover so, later. Uh, okay, so can you repeat your question? Because uh, so, I lost. Well, so so obviously with Cozy, right? There's going to be different kinds of headers and different things that are going to be needed for Cozy. Okay. Um, and so I, I guess what's the what is the primary like switch in code where you're denoting like uh, how we we know to do a different path for signing and verifying. Like, you know, because we're not gonna use obviously all the same headers and other things, right, for Cozy. Okay, so uh, so for headers, uh, a different envelope uh, scheme has its own headers. For example, JWS has its own headers and right. uh, Cozy will have its uh, own headers. So right. for example, ALG in JWS is, is ALG, but in uh, Cozy, it's just the uh, number one. Right. Okay, yeah. so, uh, so is the primary uh, mechanism to detect the change, the media type or, or something okay. else? Uh, so uh, you're asking how do you, uh, how uh, how we decide which to uh, which kind of type to sign and verify, right? Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, we can so, maybe we can maybe we can. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, for for example, uh, uh, for signing, um, we cannot decide because uh, uh, the user has to choose to sign Cozy or to sign a JWS through uh, command line arguments or config files. Uh, to verify, um, uh, there are two scenarios. Uh, the first scenario is that the uh, the artifact comes from a registry. Uh, if it comes from a registry, we can obtain uh, it 
uh, I mean, we can ob obtain the uh, signature for the artifact, and the signature has its own media type, and, and we can use the media type to decide whether we need to verify against uh, with COSI or JWS. If we see, okay, it's uh, application dash Josie, then obviously we need to verify against the database. If it's application slash Cozy, then we okay. verify it as as Cozy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. That's that's how I that's yeah. how I was uh, was thinking yeah, it would a, be done, and I just wanted to confirm. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a scenario too. That is, the signature comes from a local disk. Then uh, it's another story because we don't know uh, what kind of it's it is. Oh, I mean. Uh, what format it is, uh, but we can have a guess. So we first guess it, but is a JSON format or not? If it's JSON, then um, obviously it's, uh, we, we can guess it as a JWS signature. So we, we pass it as a JWS envelope. Uh, if uh, it, uh, it's not a JSON file, then we treat it as a binary file. Uh, if it matches some uh, perfect, like because all the messages come uh, begin with uh, number eighteen, so it it begins with number eighteen and some magic numbers, then we can see that it's a cozy envelope, and we will verify it as a cozy stuff. Yeah, makes sense. I would suggest doing against that. That's not guess signature format. I mean, if we, we already, I was just again, let's not try to guess the signature format from the signature itself or signature envelope. We already know the signature envelope type or media type. We can directly use yeah, that yeah. to. There are two scenarios. The first sure. one is the, the signature comes from the registry. We know the media type. The second one is the, the, the signature comes from a local disk. And still, it will have media type, right? Because we will generate the manifest for artifact manifest no. for that. No, if the signature comes from a local disk, I mean, it's a standalone file. You do you don't know the media type of that file, right? I mean, when notation generates the signature, will generate both media. Okay. So, it, like, I was trying to say, someone locally generated the signature and move it on the signature part, not the complete. Signature structure, like right now in notation, when we create a signature, we already know the we already know the signature envelope type, right? Because the directory structure involves signature envelope type. Is that incorrect? Well, so there's so me, media type is the primary type of switch. Are we using cozy? Are we using JWS? Right. After yeah. that, um, you know, you need some way to try and distinguish. Uh, let's say, for instance, which flavor of Cozy or which type of JWS. Obviously, in our case here, we only right now have one flavor of JWS. Um, I will say, for for my planning in the future, we likely are going to have um, additional flavors of Cozy, um, and that is going to mean that we need one other probably mechanism to determine which. Uh, Type of envelope are we are we using? And um, profile is the word that I'm. Uh, I would say would be good. Right now we have a uh, signing scheme, protected signing scheme header. Um, I would I would propose that we we use like perhaps dot profile instead, um, and that could be a way to determine um, the actual more specifics. Uh, within either JWS or or media multiple yeah. types of or other things, right? So we already David, do it. Uh, we, I think we haven't discussed this previously. What the specific problem is, and what solution we need. Like, yeah, can we yeah. create an issue for this? Yeah. Like, uh, this is the first yeah, time yeah, yeah. of uh, like cozy envelope having different flavors. Uh, having a good understanding of yeah. what that exactly means for them. Yeah, well, it, to, today, she weighs heads down on, on one, but what I'm trying to do is, and, I, and I'm going to, I have to put it, put open a PR here uh, to the this, to this spec, uh, it, it, just to make sure that we kind of future-proof with other, other things that we're, we're planning to try and do down the road. 
So, but she, for yeah, all intents and purposes, understand. we... I understand the intent, but I, I'm not uh, understanding the technical detail of what we mean by a cozy flavor. And I, I think that'll be, that'll be better captured as an issue and we can look at the details. Yeah, that's fine. We don't have to cover that right now. So, so yeah, that's fine. Just so I think Shiway though is, Shiway is blocked though, I think, on at least one, 187, I think. That's the other one, right, Shiva, that is important for you to get the resolution on. So the quick question I had on the spec updates is, uh, which of these spec updates are blocking Alpha 3? Shiva, Alpha 3 is out the door. Yeah, <laughs> all of us three, uh, but uh, uh, we can discuss for them. Uh, just, just to make it aware that we have three uh, PRs, and uh, just re can you just review them? <laughs> Give some comments and we can discuss. Yeah, I can add. I think the only comment on the yeah. first one was that I'll add the comment. The certificate chain, um, there was some feedback from um, Vitesh. I'll, I'll, I'll go through that. And the third one was I think we can discuss the other one, which was the uh, pass payload digest for generate signature. So for the FIPS, I think the FIPS concern, uh, I saw your reply on the notation channel and in the issue two. Uh, it seems we are saying customers will figure out how to build this in a FIPS compliant way, right? And it it doesn't seem there is there is good way to do that for all platforms. As much as I've looked at it, it seems to be supported in RHEL. Like, what about Windows and Mac? I I I, st I still feel there's some more discussion to be had there. We, we probably will get into the Monday technical meeting to discuss discuss that. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Thanks. Uh, by the way, uh, so uh, this meeting is for PM uh, purpose, right? Yeah, yeah, oh. but we can we can use the time to unblock any critical technical issues. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks. No, no, no. I'm I'm not like I'm not pushing it forward to Monday just because this is mainly the PM sync. I think it'll require a de it'll require us to spend at least half an hour discussing details. But my but my main concern is if we we currently don't have a, a detailed FIPS story as in will notation distribute FIPS variants or do customers build FIPS on their own? And even in both of these cases, I don't see the per OS story. The FIPS problem is solved for some OS like RHEL, but I, I haven't seen for uh, Windows or Mac OS. So wanted to know like at a high level, do you, do you have enough detail on like what the coverage for FIPS compliance is? Um, and 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 that's the primary reason I'm I'm still blocked on this because if we if we change the spec, it it means that there is no way a plugin provider or the only way they can do a FIPS compliance is and only for signing. You you did say that for verify it won't be. Uh, I I understand that, but like in many places those those will be, like signing is a different operation than verify. You can like theoretically say somebody can can write a separate verify tool that is FIPS compliant. Uh, but yeah. just from a publisher's perspective, generating signature, uh, somebody wants to publish FIPS compliant signature. Uh, verifying is kind of the verification environments problem they're saying we'll figure that out on the very verif verification end that might require writing a separate library just for it in a different language where there's better FIP support just theoretically um, but from a plugin publisher perspective they they if we make this change the only path for them to generate FIPS compliant is use envelope generator An envelope generator is a higher uh, it's a higher burden for somebody who is just a KMS or HSM provider 
to understand the envelope details and implement that. Ideally, you want like as simple implementation. Uh, so that 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 is where I'm stuck on this particular PR, the balance between that. And uh, I think the other factor was the cozy library for remote signing or like offloaded signing supports only digest signing currently, right? This is the, where it this started from. I wanted to understand some details of that too, that we can discuss on Monday. Uh, like, like having changes in cozy to switch that to a payload signer, how much of a big change is that? Oh, okay. Uh, just, uh, okay. Uh, let's discuss later in the morning meeting. Yeah, I'm just like laying out like these are the topics that we should discuss and I think that'll that'll help us make a decision here. Yeah, thanks. Cool, thanks. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I think that's all for me today. <laughs> uh, our job, thanks. Uh, thanks everyone. Good night, Shiva. Thanks for attending late. <laughs> Thank you. David, I wanted to discuss the release. Uh, I am not seeing the, like the kind of coordination from uh, like I, I think uh, Samir initially wanted to do release for some of these, and like we, I also like for example, I also communicated on the Slack channel that we are waiting for the plugin. Uh, implementation to be committed into notation go uh, but we kind of went ahead and did the release anyway notation core go was fine because we had all of the changes for notation core go in there uh, but notation go still has the plugin implementation the plugin uh, pr pending yeah i mean we've been saying we we're going to release for like more than two weeks now um and so, I mean, as this is a bigger, I would say, discussion of are we going to have um, perhaps some form of uh, regular cadence of, of releases um, because there's a, there's a balance. Yeah, yeah, I understand the regular. At some point, I understand the. And it's a, yeah, and and this one we had talked about, I believe, on a separate call where we were saying that uh, if if it's this one is not critical for the release and that if it's not done by this date um, that we would go ahead and release anyway. Um, so um, I, you know. I, I don't think we said that uh, the verification plugin one was, was not, as in we can do a patch release. Um, I'm saying we, we, we don't have a good mechanism on the release coordination here. I like, I, like I, I didn't expect the notation, uh, the alpha three, for notation go to go out without the uh, verification PR committed. Uh, and I also say that because there are some changes in in that PR that is not purely related to plugin. Like I'm not sure which end-to-end -end scenarios are currently working or not. Uh, mm -hmm. so it, uh, that needs a better coordination. Yeah, I think Milan, you're onto something. And, uh... Again, David, I wasn't able to reply sooner, but I see a couple of disconnects which happened here, including simple things like release versioning. We, I had created a pull request on which you gave feedback and Steve gave feedback, proposed different versions numbering to use, and then we used completely different version numbering. So, yeah, uh, there was there was a there was a feedback on uh, some of the PRs. I, I'd have to look, uh, but it, it actually. Uh, I think it was, it was Melinder uh, that you were saying, well, we shouldn't use 1.0, and then you pointed to the semantic versioning uh, thing, and so we used the 0 0.10 zero instead. Um, yeah. Hmm. I, yeah could, I could pull up that PR, that PR in that comment. Yeah. Yeah, the 0 0.10 is, I think the version numbers are looks good we we went through some discussions there okay uh, I, I must have missed it then but i don't yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i had i had given feedback and uh, I, I was satisfied with the new versioning that we okay the final numbers that we came up with uh it's it's just that we we need better coordination between both of our teams on release uh, it, it seems to be like just like, 
Uh, I see communication, but I, I didn't see, like, I, I'm just seeing an announcement for Notation Go uh, release, but like, we didn't, we didn't yeah. really decide that we'll release it today and like, are we ready? I was expecting in this call, we'll close out all the pending items and we'll, we'll release it either today, the next half or tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, that's what we've been trying to do for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I so, understand. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. That, but there, there are valid reasons we are blocked on few of these you know, PRs, right? Yeah. And so the only the only thing I, I believe that is left that's even in the Alpha 3 list is your verification one, which has been, I mean, also around for quite a while, almost in the proof state. So I don't, you know, at some that, point. That PR has been collecting. <laughs> Uh, feedback and revisions like uh, I think even on Monday Tuesday uh, there were revisions to that Anyways, yeah I mean uh, I think uh, it, I, I think that if we if this is a critical thing uh, again I, I would much rather do another release in a week from now with a point release um, and, and do that than you know keep waiting and waiting and waiting for weeks and weeks and weeks and then have months go by and then we, we still no, that, have no that, that works I'm, I'm not against that strategy uh, I'm not against that strategy. It's, it's just the communication that I'm pointing to. It's it's a okay. it's a mismatch of expectations or like, uh, yeah, that's a lot. I'm good with the strategy of doing keeping on doing alpha releases and having features. Okay. Okay. So hang on. So now we have to go and update the alpha three system release uh, PR, and I'll update that pull request with the new version numbering, which has been agreed. Uh, but we still need to release the spec or the notary project repo. And uh, okay. I could and I could use some help on that, David. I think when Wani and I were following the release checklist process that Steve pointed us to, we were following the process. And the first thing the process said, go ahead and create a version file, which we did. And then there was discussion on it. No, that's not needed. So even the release process needs documentation besides the communication. That was the other thing I wanted to bring up. Um, yeah, I think I, I agree. I think we should, uh, I really think we need to like have an update uh, on different levels for the release process. Um, yeah, I, I, there's there's a lot of different things that are, I think we can do to make things a bit smoother and communication better. And I mean, I, I think I also think there's a lot of a lot of process that we have that maybe we can streamline a bit. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. If we can push a button and do it, and that's where I think David, with your GitHub uh, knowledge, th this will help us how we can streamline it further. So I'm so I'm looking for ideas, but I think the work that Vani and I got, we followed the process and we tried to do with it. We created a pull request, and of course we couldn't respond to it time enough. And you guys went ahead, uh, and we didn't realize you were. So uh, now my question is, can we give an action item to update the release checklist.md process with whatever you have done so far? And also, I will complete my pull request, but it has to be updated to reflect what got delivered in alpha 3. Because what got delivered in yeah. alpha 3, now I'm losing track of it. So it seems you have seen the notation client experience with alpha 3 now, right? Uh, I know that. I know that. Uh... Yi and Finman have been testing against the main branch build, um, okay. which is why they which is why they brought up uh, a number of problems that also got merged and fixed, uh, which is included in the release. So I personally have not looked at, tried to test the end-to-end -end scenario uh, that at least is top of mind for us um, personally yet, but I I'm trusting that they have. And even if something is broken, it's okay. We're in alpha three, and okay. like I really hope that we can like continue to have a little quicker cadence than you know every few months or whatever to do a release. No, no, that's fair. I think on alpha three, we were trying to line up updates across multiple repos, reflect the spec to reflect the uh, implementation. So my so my concern is right now is the alpha three spec is now out of line uh, with the alpha three implementation. That's my concern. With. Uh, no, the, so so I think everything is fine from your release notes other than the versioning. And you made those comments on there. And so the only thing, I mean, we can go back to our, our board and look. Uh, okay. There's only, the, on, the only thing that's left are the, 
or the, the the PR and the associated issue for the one the one that Melin brought up that hey I wanted to try and get this in and that that's the only thing that I that I could see unless there's something else I'm missing that isn't on the board. Uh, yeah, actually, let's let's talk about that. What's on the board, right? So we uh, actually let me bring up the board. Let me share my screen. Uh, yeah, from looking at the open PRs, that seems to be the only thing, but we, we can cross check with the board. Yeah, I mean, it's implement verification plugin spec, which is an issue, and then there's plugin integration verification workflow, which is the one we're talking about. And that's that's it. And that, and that like, like I did, I do, I, I do remember bringing this up on uh, a week ago on, on the call. I, I, but, um, but yeah, it's also been, in the status of 14 days, let's see, it's been three approvals for a while. So the, I mean, I'll, I'll tell why that is different. Like usually for bug fixes, et cetera, this, this is, a, is a big feature and it okay. got approval from him, I think, and Ritesh, we, did, we needed, more we asked for more than two reviews because it is a it is a critical workflow with verify okay. and it also modifies the existing so before this we have the regular verify right and now we incorporate it yeah milan i think we lost you again we can't hear you Okay, while we're waiting on Milind, let's see if he comes back. No, I think, uh, David, going back to what's, I think, out of spec versus what I was documenting in the release notes, I'm not sure if the current Verify process relies on the trust store directory structure or not. I was under the impression that this verification workflow is the one which introduces using verification with the directory structure process. I could be wrong about this. Uh, so that's why I was saying that we could be out of sync within what the spec says and what the client is implemented for, which is fine because we have been out of sync some and in alpha releases, it's fine. Uh, okay, let's see when Milan comes back, he can help us understand that. This is Pop plugin. I think the policy director structure is pretty still work. It won't support the remote verification or like basically the plugin based verification. Okay, so okay, so the spec and notation to client implementation is still in sync. Okay, thank you, Pratish. Uh, okay, yeah. let's move on to the uh, next thing I had. Uh, the hack MD. But again, I am not sure if this PR contains a switch because I do remember talking to Rakesh saying that. He's developing it as a separate feature and he will do a flip at one point where the CLI will start calling his code base. So I was not aware of that, if this which is part of this PR. Okay, I think that's why Milan was saying that this is a big PR, it has to be reviewed carefully. Yeah, that's quite possible that he would be doing this which is part of this PR. Okay, all right. So let's just take some action items here uh, as to where we are. So, uh... Let me see, we talked about this version numbering. So I'll go back and check on those notes and I'll update the version numbering that we fixed. So I'll take that action item. Um, action items. So let me update the system release notes PR with the new version numbering. I got this. I think Milan is saying he is having some connectivity issues. So we'll continue without him. Um, uh, yeah, one more dependency which was not on the board and uh, uh, and I think Shiva and he flagged it to me and I was working with the ORAS uh, team members who are in the ORAS, which David, I'm not, not sure if you joined the ORAS meetings or not, I don't. So I was working through them was, there was a bug in the ORAS Go library, which was blocking an interop with ECR. Uh, I understand there's a pull request on it and, but that was somehow, not being that is somehow not being captured on our board, so that's a issue uh, in Alpha three, which will block and interrupt with ECR. Again, we can fix it later. But what I'm pointing out is there is a dependency that we are not tracking. 
So how could we do that? I'm asking for your help. Like how could we in the future track a dependency from a third party repo, um, which was blocking a workflow? Any suggestions on that? David, I can't hear you now. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, sir. Okay. I okay, think we can, we can create an issue on our side and track it against their issue and put that issue on our board. Oh, that's a way to track. Just create an issue in our library and say, okay, well, it has to be brought in. Okay. That's a good yeah, idea. I mean, the, we, we can put it on our board saying that, okay, this is what we are tracking. If that library does a fix in our reasonable time frame, then we can just pull that. Otherwise, we can take a call with her to include that fix in our release or not. Okay. Uh... And that's the only way I can think of to put it on, on like one view on our board. Okay, I will take care of that. Uh, okay, and I wanted to have this discussion with David present or Milan present, but Milan is not here. So we'll just park this discussion. Sorry, join back. Um, you're back, but I think we lost David. Yeah, we lost David. Okay. Uh, Samir, to update the release notes for Alpha 3. Um, I can also be with you in order to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can yeah. just do it just yeah. after this call. We together. Can start together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can do that. Um, let's see, Milad, I missed that. If you have the link to the uh, discussion where the SAM versioning was happening, the reason I picked those numbers was because I was following the SAM version numbering scheme where the there was a big update in all the repos. So I was calling it a major update. And hence I was increasing the first number going from zero to one for the first number. That was my rationale, but I'll go back and read what you guys did. So just point me to it. Okay. So, so yeah, hey, so I, I heard, hey, <laughs> I thought I was un, un, muted. I had to totally disconnect, reconnect, I'm um, sorry. But yeah, I think what I, I caught the p t tail of that. Yeah, I mean, d having an issue where we need to do something uh, in the repo, like if it's mutation CLI or, or the Go library, I would file it there. And then I would, and then I would like link to the issue on the other repo. That way, it's like there's a cross, a cross linking um, going on there. But okay. um, for, for the for the that particular issue, I I'd love to know more because I, I from what I remember from Finman, it was that he was looking. He just needed feedback from somebody um, from AWS who was like on vacation or gone or something, and he was blocked with ORAS. Not necessarily it was a notation problem but that's i could be wrong i yeah yeah so so notation has a dependency on the oras go library for its uh library interfacing oh sorry for its registry interfacing and uh maybe we need we need to talk about that maybe not today maybe uh, okay. as a technical yeah separate time thing. yep separate as time. a separate time as to when we move to oci working group spec because that was an intent we had always um Okay, let, yep. I'll create a separate issue to track that. Uh, okay, okay uh, let's see. So I still have to release notation CLI, sorry, not see uh, the notary project or the specification repo yet, right? Because we can't do an alpha three system release without the uh, notation or sorry, notary project done, right? So you have done individual releases so far but you haven't done the system release, right? Am I thinking about the right way? Uh, well, so the notary project is just for the specs, basically. So, Correct. Um, Correct. So, so, yeah, so yeah, I mean, yeah, we definitely should do that, uh, but there's, yeah, I, I wouldn't necessarily call it a system release. Um, I mean, it's, it's just the spec, the spec release is what I would call it. Well, so, so like, okay, okay, then maybe we are not reviewing it the way I was thinking we are reviewing it. When I created the PR, I was I was specifically called that this Alpha 3, when we go and announce to the community that Alpha 3 has come out, we want to say Alpha 3, what does Alpha 3 constitutes? And what I was documenting in okay. it, again, it could be bad process that we need to get rid of, oh. but that this, that this release contains the new specs, new notation CLI, and, oh. and the- Oh, okay. Yeah, you're talking about the roadmap PR announcement. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's fine. I get I get that. That that makes sense if you want to call it the system release, I guess. Um, 
but yeah, that's just kind of helping people coordinate so they know that all these three things are released and kind of correlated and right. to some degree te- to some degree tested. Correct. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and and then the implementation matches the spec, and we want the implementation to match the spec in all cases. Once we get once we get to close to to RC one, but yes, right. Uh, point taken. Right. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I, I think this. that yeah. Yeah, so yeah, just update that, and then I think you want to do the release for the spec itself on the notary projects, and then I think that's it. We're done with Alpha 3, and then I would suggest, you know, again, we maybe you, me, and Yi uh, have a separate chat on uh, what we can do to streamline things. Um, for instance, like, let's, let's say we want to get this verification workflow in next week. Um, like, I don't think we should have so much process and ceremony for it. We should just, you know, have a have a release um, and and then there you go you know got it and that may not even be a system release that as we talked about we want each repo to be independently released uh, and then uh, and then each repo can be independently released on its own cadence so at that point it's only an updated notation go and notation CLI which will be released. Right? Uh, yep. Am I thinking about the right way that uh, only those two repos will be affected with Rakesh's PR? Um, yeah, I, th- I think so. Those There were no CLI, um, CLI updates for those. Okay. Yeah, okay. You'll, you'll probably have to, I mean, think about how we'll update, release, release that, whether that's a version 0.11, is it alpha three or something else? Uh, like currently the verification plugin is tagged alpha three. Currently the verification right? plugin so, is Well, yeah, you can, well, yeah, we could, I mean, we can remove it. The alpha three tag is easy to change. Um, so yeah, we we should, if it's not gonna be in the official alpha three release, which it's not now at this point, then you just remove the alpha three tag and put it in whatever our next milestone is, which I believe is at this point is RC1, um, right? Right, so. I, I just want to reiterate that, like we, uh, because like it's 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 a bit of a mismatch. We, we tagged that issue to alpha three, but we went ahead and did the release without closing all the items on alpha three. So process wise, at least if we are going to do a release that way, it needs to be communicated that we are not including these things in alpha three and there'll be a subsequent release, right? We kind of jumped the gun and did the release first. And now we are saying there are items in alpha three that we'll push on to a different uh, a different release. Yeah, definitely a disconnect on that one. So, so maybe so, it's not, go ahead, Vani. So Melinda, based on what, uh, what is being said here? Should we have a release date? That's, uh, we have a release checklist in that. Probably we need to modify this in order to have a release cadence, so that if uh, there are any outstanding, uh, you know, issues. I mean, um, that is what the board is for. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me, uh, yeah, I think this is something we need to fix, David. Uh, like, uh, again, we were traveling, uh, so, and what the board was reflecting, the work is not completed. Uh, I need to think about Yeah, it. There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a general balance that needs to be had, in my opinion, between time-based release and, and what you're trying to accomplish, right? And at this, like, it, it pretty much the way that notation has been operating since I've been here has been, we have whatever milestone we have and we just go until forever until that's achieved, which I don't really agree with. <laughs> no, that, that seems to be a fine goal. I, I think, the, uh, I think what, what is missing in the execution of that is the communication that we are doing a release at this particular point. And these are the things pending, right? Which which is which is what we've done for two weeks we're like we're going to release and we said last week and then we said we were going to release the week before and so so this, this release was week. not really time based this particular alpha 3 release and i i have iterated that a few times that 
the the goal of doing week to weekly biweekly or uh, periodic releases is a great one but we'll implement that after alpha 3 because alpha 3 implements a bunch of there have been a large amount of spec changes and corresponding implementation changes uh, and I, I and i did say that like so, so the alpha 3 is a feature based release so we we need to complete the features and like beyond that, like feature-based release that gives you a concise set of features that we agreed on. And then beyond that, I'm, I'm open to having more periodic releases. I expect smaller incremental changes to go through. Yeah, I agree with you, okay. Milan. I think uh, you were clear and... Uh... Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, if we need to, I mean, I mean, if we, if, if this is that, that big of a deal, I mean, like I, I'm, I'm open to do another point release and, 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 and w w work that into the release notes if we, if we really, really want. I mean, part of my concern as well, I'll be honest, is I'm not sure we've tested the verification workflow PR because it's quite a bit of work and it's quite a bit of change. Um, so we may end up, that may or may not break things. So that, that was my other, that was my other concern. Um, so yeah, uh, which would then also delay things even more again, um, for the release. <laughs> I mean, that, that I, I understand that's yeah. a valid concern. Um, just that it, 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 it needs to be communicated. Like, like what you're saying yeah. is right. That, that is changing, uh, uh, it's a big change on the verification API. So did, did we, did we test that enough? That, that is a good, that is a good point. Um, uh, let's um, I'd prefer doing a patch release if possible on the alpha 3 that way we don't have to go update the other release notes and do a bunch of other activities yep I'm good with that yeah we'll try to uh, I, I approved it I think right now that issue is blocked because GitHub is having some outage that is not running on the uh, uh, checklist steps, builds, et cetera. So I think by tomorrow, this should be merged. And uh, if we can update release notes, et cetera, have the corresponding patch update, we'll do that. We still have to do a notation CLI release, right? No, that has been done as well. That's what um, David is saying. He has released a notation CLI as well. I didn't see a... At least on Slack, I didn't see an announcement. I see one for notation go. Uh, David, can you clarify that? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 done. It's up there. Uh, it was released uh, three hours ago by Yi. Uh, okay, again, <laughs> I'm surprised. Um, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll figure out the what the versioning should be and probably do a patch release tomorrow or Monday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And hey, uh, uh, so maybe uh, so I need some help, right? So because when we tried to do it and we ran into the first thing and there was a comment by uh, Shive on that one, so I need some help on this one. So is the, if if I follow this process to release uh, the Notary project repo, then I'm doing something wrong, right? So there has to be a separate release process for the Notary project repo, right? Um. Why don't we, uh, yeah, so the, I'm just looking at this here. I don't have this code yeah. file in the notary project repo, right? Yeah, this is, a... this is, yeah, that doesn't, yeah. And so, okay, so I, yeah, I understand now why, because I was like, I saw the internal version, version.go coming in as new Go code. And I, <laughs> I was wondering why that was showing up. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, for the, for the specifications, you don't, you don't have the Go code, right? It's just the specs. Correct. And so, and so you, you, I would, I would say that the release process is pretty much the same as it is for the Go libraries because all you're doing is the general release like process on GitHub and then manually adding the notes. Um, yep. Even though, even though you know the Notary project has no code, it's the same should be the same steps. Uh, the notation Go uh, CLI that that has a different uh, release like steps because the Go releaser auto-generates the notes and does the build and a bunch of other things. 
so it's slightly different there. Um, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Like I said, I'm happy to work, uh, with you on the release process. Cause this is very specific to, um, the go, the go code, um, and also doesn't accommodate the, the client release. Yeah. So, but so. again, so yes, we should have that meeting. I'll set up some time. Um, Bonnie and I will work out what time works best for us over the next week to do this. But so step two is not required for the, for the specification repo. That's fine. But besides that, uh, step two and step three is not required, but do we require step four, five, six, and seven, right? Actually, no, we don't require step five either. Like we don't require no, step. You still, no, well, so you still, part of doing a release, uh, the way that the releases work in GitHub is you do do tags. Um, and okay. in fact, I'm looking at these stuff and I there is actually a little bit better way to do the tagging uh, with an annotation that's a little, a little cleaner. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I would say the other steps there. So let me give it. Well, you're not going to have. So number six. So number six, you're not going to. Yeah, and number six, you're not going to have because I don't think for sure on the specification repo, the notary project, you don't have a, a GitHub workflow to do the release. Um, and and I'm pretty sure six uh, is only it only applies as well for the, not the notation CLI. So this is very. We definitely need to overhaul this. It's it's not. Not correct. Okay. It doesn't apply. Can I give this next stuff. item to yeah. you, David? Yeah, so David, that's fine. Yeah, what happened was last week you weren't here. So Vani and I spoke to Steve and Steve pointed us, hey, follow this process and you'll be fine. And we were following this process and we stumbled. Uh, <laughs> so I think yeah, that's, why, okay. that's why you want to know. David. Disconnect. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, if you look at last, yeah. last Thursday, uh, you will see that, uh, David, to update uh, release okay. checklist. All uh, repos. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, last thing is, uh, I was following the process. That process doesn't make sense for notary project. We have concluded that. But then Wani and I were following the process for the not notation Go repo. And that's where we created that version.go file. And that, that started a discussion, which I said, I want to have that discussion in the meeting. We only have six minutes left. So hopefully we can have a quick okay. yep. discussion here. Sure. So this was yeah. the file Wani created, and we were like, we weren't like we were acting on the information we had, like we were working on it as transparently as we can, that we are trying to release it. Um, and uh, so we followed the process, but then Shiva came back and said, uh, we should mark it as a notation Go library, we marked as a Git tag and record it in Go mod. And Pritesh, you said something, we should only do version on this one. So I just want to have a discussion. Why do we think we don't we don't need the SEM versioning on the uh, on the two libraries? I don't understand the logic. So what I was saying was we don't need a version function inside Notation Go and Notation Core Go because they are library. Yep. Whenever someone takes a dependency on a library, they are explicitly calling out which version they want to depend on. So yep. like we don't. Yeah. They don't yep. need they don't need an access. The release process it. itself. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So maybe this is just me thinking. So I can't query a library through an API to tell me, hey, what version you are. I just look at the executable of the library and I know what version it is. Is that well, I'm so, yeah, yeah. So, so let me, yeah. So the way that the Go packages work is it, uh, it actually looks to GitHub, the GitHub release itself for the versioning numbers. So, uh, yeah, with Golang in particular, uh, that like when you do the actual release, uh, it, it becomes automatically that the release is what Go knows as the version. And so you don't need the version number in the Go code. The only way you would, the only, the only place you would need the version is on the CLI for somebody to type like notation version, and then they can get it spit back to them, right? But because the, the two uh, Go libraries, the Core Go and the Go one are just libraries, there's no one like 
typing a command, right? And there's no need to type a command. People just reference the actual version from the release. Does that make okay, sense, Samir? It does, it does, but my, uh, my again, my thought process is based on probably a different release process, but wouldn't somebody like to know through the notation CLI saying, hey, what were the repos you, or what were the library versions you pulled in? How will uh, the user I don't think, know that? I, yeah, I don't think that any anybody that's using the notation CLI is going to care to that detail. And if they really do, they'll just go to the open source code repo and look and see what in the go.mod file and see which versions are used for that release. I think it's probably, a, tell me if you're thinking on these lines, like we do a notation CLI release, uh, there is some bug, whatever, some and as part of troubleshooting, when, when you say notation help, you want it to print out the version of the dependencies. Like then you know like what patch yeah, version are they using. That's the way I'm, help. that's the release process I'm used to. Like you can query down to the whatever dependencies you are like a bomb, if you will, right? So, um, well, David, again, gap of gap in understanding on like how, how Go dependencies work. Like for, for this particular scenario, would we be able to derive those versions somehow? Yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah. So basically the only thing the client would need to do is give you the go, the notation version, right, of the client. And that that client version is not going to tell you, uh, it's not going to spit out what the dependency versions are because right. there's many. There's not just, there's there's a number of them, right? Yeah. So, yeah. but what you would do is, what you would do is just go to that point in code in GitHub and then you would look at the go.mod file for that, for that version, specific version of the client they're using. And you could know all of the dependencies exactly right. what was used to build to build that thing. Yeah, but that's a developer's perspective, right? You, you like how right. can you make right. it as easy as possible? Right, okay. right. Or so from the, a user perspective, yeah, from a user perspective, though, they care about fixing whatever problem they're having. They don't care that there's a dependency blah, right? They just want like they just want their problem fixed, right? So, right, right. I mean, but, if, if but when they, well, what I mean to say is, sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt, like trying to cut the shot. Well, what I mean to say is they, they, they will open the issue, right? And we'll ask them what version yeah. are you using? They'll say, I'm using yeah. notation 1.0, but maybe notation 1.0, there are, a, there are a few releases of notation 1.0, which use different patch releases of notation core go, for example. So it's it's good no, to that know. Should, no, that should not be the case. No, 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 that will never be the case. There's, there's only one CLI release which snaps to one version of dependencies. That, that's- Okay, there should, okay. The, the, okay, so it's a, it's snap it's snapshot of uh, all those- Yes, three. that's correct. Okay, so they gave us the notation version and we can figure out what is the set that they're using. Exactly. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay, now I understand, David. Not, so now you know what kind of help you will have to uh, help me and Vani with by documenting it in the release checklist, so that we don't trip on this again. Uh, okay, I think yeah, all my agenda items have been answered. Uh, as Milan said, we would like to bring Rakesh's PR in, and also that uh, ORAS Go issue, uh, and then do a patch release before we go to an RC one. So there's an interim, one more interim thing we need to do before we get to sure. RC one. Okay. Sure. All right. I will. Uh, yeah, we can handle the rest of it over, over Slack then. Anybody else has any last things? No, I didn't have anything. Okay. Thanks. Bye now. Okay. Cool. cool. Thanks. Thanks. Bye bye. Thanks. Hey, Samir. Hey, man. We, we, this was expected that they will do this. Sorry, come again? I, I'm, I'm saying this was expected that they will do this, right? I yeah, I hope I didn't uh, go overboard, but I wanted the message across. Yeah, I think uh, you were playing the good, bad cop rightly so, and I was playing this right. good and bad cop exactly. together. So I think, I, I think we did fine telling them that we're not happy about this. And, uh, I mean, it's communication, right? I, I, I don't mind you 
you going ahead and releasing that, but there's, there is no communication that like at this point, at but on this particular day, we are going to release whether it's something is there or not. And that is not in line with, we said this is, this is the feature set for alpha three. So we better stick Correct. to it. You can do your time-based releases any point out after alpha three. I, I did indicate Correct. that a few times. Yes, we did. I think we were clear about this and uh, yeah, I think David, and I was expecting them to jump the gun. No, I was I expecting that as well. He was, he was just, just pushing. Nice pushing. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, all right. Um, I think we have to think a bit on whether it should be a patch release or alpha four or what. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking it should be an alpha four. Uh, actually, so the way I'm thinking about this is again, tell me if uh, we should do it differently. I don't do the, I'm not going to do the system release because they anyways, we're not concerned about the alpha, the system release, uh, the alpha three of the system release, right? By system so release, think, you just mean the, the overall page yeah. where we say these are the set of things together. These, that we can wait on that things. till, we can wait on that till, because you don't want end users to use different, like, like Microsoft will say this three point, like alpha three, non-patch whatever got released today is good for us and they'll they'll start using it and they'll totally ignore right. the patch version uh right. ideally you want the latest version to be used so what you can do is you can defer if you want you can defer right. putting out that release note let the correct. release note just have the patch version in it correct when i put the release note out i put it out to the patch version correct yeah that's what i'm thinking at this point yeah so that you avoid busy work because what they wanted, they got it already, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, I think that's the proper way to do it. Yeah, and we show to them the whole... Where are you right yeah. now? I'm in UK. I, I go to UK. I'm, I, I'm at my brother's house, yeah. How was your flight? Uh, I couldn't sleep, man. Like, uh, it was too noisy. Uh, I just couldn't sleep. So I'm <laughs> waiting for nightfall. So I will probably check out by uh, the next four hours. And okay. The we did have a lot of fun yesterday and we we remembered you a few times we said ah somebody should have been here this would have been more lively <laughs> no yeah you know i was so glad that i got to uk because shani is uh, is still very fatigued by 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 covid like she's she's wiped out like she's uh, very fatigued she had a wheelchair and all and i was able to get there early i was able to pull all the luggage and it's a three-hour drive to my brother's house so yeah, I'm glad I was able to come and help otherwise. Does she need any help for when I go back to Seattle? I can help. No, no, no. I think she should recover now. My my brother is a doctor as well, so he's of course feeding him all the okay. <laughs> all the so yeah, I think okay. she'll okay. she'll be fine because we'll be just we we're planning to do to do a lot of sightseeing. Probably we won't do that. Uh and, and she has to be back in school as well, right? She's a school nurse. <laughs> so <laughs> so she has to be <laughs> fit and ready for school year to uh, start. Okay. Okay. All right. All I think we we can okay. sync up tomorrow. I I don't know okay. when you when I when are you working and when are you working? I'll check the calendar. Yeah, yeah. So I'm working to, uh, to, till till Tuesday. Okay. And then I'm taking three days off because I. Okay, we so we better to try to get the release out by Tuesday then. I I will put keep the pressure on ECR and get the those. Yeah, things. we need to get ECR that. But see, they depend on Shiva to approve the PR. That's okay. That's fine. Okay. I know. I'm, I'm, so, I mean, we understand. They they have to work with Shiva and push Shiva to get that reviewed. Okay. He, he did okay. provide sounds feedback. Good. Right now, Michael has oh, given yeah. some feedback. Okay, sounds good. All right. Okay. See you, Samir. Bye. Have a good time. Bye. All right. Go. Bye. Bye. Shall we? Last time I had something like we didn't know how to proceed with the pandemic. Yeah. The whole rationing thing was all confusion. Uh, yeah. yeah.